Let me show you what just happened because this has never happened since they started tracking it. You know, we've talked many times over the years about yield curve inversion, which is when the lower rate, the shorter term rate is higher than the longer term rate. And that's the rate that you get paid for, for holding this debt. Well, now on a global basis, and I talked about it at the beginning of this year, and I think it's kind of interesting. We've got the beginning of the year where we saw the 20 and 30 year bond invert, yield curve invert. And I said at that point that that's, it always starts on the end and then it works its way in. Now you've got a full global yield curve inversion, which means that we are about to have a full global more than a recession, more than a recession. This is what that looks like since they started tracking it. This is a major pattern shift. And when uh, any pattern, a normal pattern shifts, you need to know that that means something. And, and look around the world. You can see all the chaos they're setting up for the new system to come into play. Because what's really happening is that we are at the end of this whole big fiat money experiment. First time ever. That keeps me up at night, to be honest with you. I'm thankful that I'm as prepared as I am. Could use more preparation and more time. But the reality is we only have as much time as we have. And there isn't one person that knows exactly that moment. So I highly, highly encourage you to get ready now because a global financial crisis is coming our way. And that means everyone's way. And what do the central banks have to get us through this crisis? This, my friends, is all they have is money printing. That's it. The rest of the confidence that the public might have in the central bankers will be destroyed and we will enter a hyperinflationary depression. And I'm sorry to say that, but it just is what it is. So look at this world government bond inverted yield curves. Now I've been tracking this for so many years. This is the first time that I've seen it this inverted. 26 countries, including the US and the UK and, and all of the major entities. And so here are some that are partially inverted, but remember, typically once they start, and here's some that are just at the beginning stages, all right? So this is basically the whole world is inverting. Their yield, almost the whole world's yield curves are inverting at the same time. And the problem is, is that we are a consumer driven economy. That means that we are counting on the consumer to continue to consume. And if you listen to the talking heads on TV, what do they say? The consumers really held up so much better than what we thought that they were. And they've taken on a lot more debt to attempt to maintain a certain standard of living in the face of this inflation. But confidence, which remember, this is a con game. That means everything is based upon confidence, right? Consumer confidence, confidence that inflation, the Federal Reserve will be able to get inflation under control. Well, guess what? both the level of inflation, the confidence that the inflation is going to stay low, as well as confidence that people are still going to have the incomes to continue to consume have declined to a four month low. They're going to go a whole lot lower. I mean, you know, you can see it, but if 70% of the economy is consumer driven and the consumer can no longer consume, what do you think is going to happen? That's why it's a Jenga economy. I can't tell you which domino is going to fall first, but they, they are already falling. And it really doesn't even take, 
you know, imagination. All you have to do is look around and you can see what's happening. And how do you think a desperate government might respond if they really feel threatened or they really get into a bind? and nobody will accept their fiat money anymore. Well, here's a great example of that. Gold miner ordered to sell 20% of refined bullion to Ghana and Ghana, the government, and Ghana is Africa's second largest gold producer. And they've ordered large mining companies to sell 20% of the metal they refine to the nation's central bank as the government embarks on a plan to barter bullion for fuel because the CD, which is right here, that's their currency, has dropped 57% this year. It's in free fall. So who wants to take it? Nobody. Now you might be thinking, ah, oh, well, that's Ghana and that could not happen here. But historically it has happened in the US and even in 2016, it happened in India and Venezuela and Argentina and many, many, many other places. But gold is real money and it is accepted as real money globally. The reality is though, the government has also ordered even small scale miners to sell their gold to state owned precious minerals marketing company. So a lot of times people will say, well, what about gold stocks? Well, this is a risk that the gold stocks run. You know, maybe it'll happen. Maybe it won't happen. It's kind of hard for me to know one way or the other. There is very strong historic precedence for governments to confiscate gold. And we have recent examples, this one being one of them. And it's hard for me to imagine, while, and there's so many different ways that you can talk about confiscation or names that you can give it. I mean, are they saying we're confiscating gold in here? No, but it certainly looks like a confiscation to me because these gold miners are being forced to sell their gold to the central bank in the form of the CD, the local currency with at the spot price, which is a contract that's easily manipulated without any discounts or anything else. So do you think that by manipulating the price of gold over all these years, by getting you not to really want to buy gold, because after all, like we saw, you know, it, it's performance is actually better than anything else, but they don't talk about gold as, as if you should hold it. But the reality is, is if you don't hold it, you don't own it. I want you to realize and remember that the global yield curve just inverted. And what that means, bottom line, is something extraordinarily nasty this way comes. 